Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you guys, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. And so it's been a couple weeks now and our sauerkraut is finally ready. And that's what we're gonna be doing today is canning sauerkraut. All right, so the goal today is to get uh, this sauerkraut canned. Um, I just want to say that you don't have to can it. This is something that right off the bat you can just easily put in a freezer bag and just preserve it that way. Um, for me, I just love to have things canned and um, I don't know, I like to fill my shelves with as much canned food as possible. So I'm going to just do it that way. The other thing is, I don't know if you could see in this jar, it's a, a little bit of a distinction between color um, at the top and at the bottom. Um, I mean, it happens a lot when it comes to fermenting, especially with sauerkraut. Um, and it happens for a numerous amount of reasons. One is that the brine level could have gone down a little bit lower. Um, the other thing is um, air could have gotten to it where it could have been oxidized. I'm gonna guess for this batch that the brine went down because when I kept pushing down, it just seemed like I was losing just some brine. I don't know how that happens. So if that's something that you guys can comment about, let me know, that'd be great. The other concern I think that some people had had in my video when I was making the sauerkraut was this vessel and about bugs getting into it. Uh, there is a, a water well here that I just took a jar and I filled it with water and just, and filled it up to keep bugs out. Now, bugs could get in here if I did not keep filling up this water well. So that was one of the things that I had to constantly keep um, an eye on was the, the water level in here. Um, and that is just good enough. That's what keeps bugs out. You don't necessarily have to cover it or anything like that. That, that just worked well enough. But let's open this up and smell this bad boy and look at it a little bit closer and give it a taste. All right, so we are going to open this up. Okay. And from the looks of it, it looks really, really good. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells exactly like sauerkraut is supposed to smell. I just love it. Oh, this is a really, really good batch. I can't wait to taste it. All right, so as I was taking the top layer out the browning uh, layer of sauerkraut. Um, I'm having a hard time throwing it out. I, I really am um, because, you know, I mean, I, from the, my research, it just seems like some people throw it out. Um, some people keep it. Um, I personally, I don't see any problem with it. Um, yeah, I'm just really struggling with that. Um, I don't like to throw food out. I don't see any mold that's present. It just looks like, you know, uh, oxidized cabbage that is not really aesthetically pleasing in a jar. Um, but you guys let me know what you think. Would you have thrown the top, the top out? Would you have kept it? Um, what are your thoughts on that? Um, just because I'm going to just throw this top layer out. But again, it just seems like a huge waste. And I don't know, just the uh, frugalness in me is just really struggling with this one here. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna get started in uh, canning this, these guys and uh, putting them in jars. So when it comes to canning sauerkraut, it's actually really, really easy. Uh, the processing time for pints is 25 minutes and for, no, I'm sorry, for pints, it's 20 minutes and for quarts, it's 25 minutes, all right? So pints, 20 minutes, quarts, 25 minutes, and that's using the water bath method. I just fill it up and then once all the jars are filled up, that's when I add the brine. I will put the brine in last. All right, I'm almost done here at the very bottom. I'm just 
filling up my last jar here. I was wondering, um, how do you guys eat your sauerkraut? For me, I kind of just do it the traditional way, which is just like pork and sauerkraut. I might switch it up every once in a while and put uh, chicken breast in the crock pot and put a jar of sauerkraut on top of that and eat it like that. But I would be so interested in knowing how do you guys eat it? How do you cook with it? All right, so right now I have the brine that's left over here and I'm going to fill these jars with the leftover brine. So right now I have all this leftover brine, you see here, and I am just going to be pouring that in. Now the brine does not have to cover the sauerkraut completely when you're canning it. So don't worry if you don't have enough brine. I'm just trying to equally distribute what I have um, with my jars. So we are at the end of the jar here and I am like <laughs> scraping at the bottom and eating it because it is just that good. You just cannot get anything like this at the store. Like anytime I've ever bought sauerkraut at the store, it's never tasted this potent, this fresh. It's like I can taste the probiotics. I know that sounds really strange and weird, but it just you just cannot get this unless it is homemade. I enjoy it very very much before canning i always like to use some apple cider vinegar to wipe the rims then place the lids and rings at fingertip tight so you know how i was saying earlier that quarts are 25 minutes in the water bath and then pints are 20 minutes in the water bath every once in a while um i will have a batch where I'll have way more quarts than pints. In this case, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five quarts and one pint. So because the time is over, um, I'm just gonna throw in the pint with my quarts. Um, I do this a lot um, just because, I mean, I just every once in a while get a random pint and it's fine. As long as the time is over um, or exactly the processing time, you can, do that and it's only a five minute difference so it's not necessarily gonna like burn the food and there you have it fresh homemade sauerkraut filled with all the good probiotics take care guys and as always god bless